Okay, I want to welcome everyone to tonight's training. It is a pleasure to be here. I'm sure as you can hear from my voice, I am a little bit under the weather. Uh, I've got virus and sinus infection and quite a few things going on, but that's okay. I'm just like the mailman, nothing will stop us on training night. And uh, so it's a pleasure to have everyone here and available. We're going to uh, get away just a little bit from our normal training that we were doing. <clears throat> and uh, due to my health, and uh, if you will just excuse tonight, and uh, Woodrow is out sick. I just talked to him. He went out and uh, is, uh, got whatever I got, and we're 1,800 miles apart. So uh, there's definitely something going around. But uh, I hope everyone here is well and uh, ready for some training. If you can hear me okay, just type yes in the training box and uh, or in the question box, and uh, we will get rolling here. We are right on time and going to rock and roll. Uh, we're going to do, uh, uh, we're going to sway just a little bit from our regular training training due to since Friday and uh, uh, didn't go to the doctor till yesterday, which was a huge mistake. And uh, but uh, anyway, so we're going to uh, to roll tonight. We're going to get right back on track next week with our business building webinar training series. Tonight we're going to uh, just stray away from that just a little bit. We will have a, a link for you at the end of the training and uh, that you'll be able to get. And um, I will po post it up so everybody can download the information that we're going to be going through. So this week, we are going to revisit a, a training from uh, the past. Uh, we have a lot of requests for this. Uh, and uh, this is uh, some training that Woodrow has put together. Woodrow is exceptional at video commercials and um, video commercials and pre review videos. And has been very, very, very successful at it. So without further ado, uh, we're going to get right into training. And I uh, hope everyone enjoys it. And uh, let's uh, rock and roll and make everything happen. Woodrow has put together a program for YouTube and he has done an exceptional job. And we're going to start back with the first screen that we did from the beginning and uh, go over this again. Let me... Uh, do something real quick so I can get rid of that stuff on the bottom and you should be able to see that now and he did a commercial for readers auto tent and trim and we're gonna go over how he charges and what he did and uh, we're gonna go through this tonight if we have time left we're gonna start back at 2.0 if we don't that's fine we'll get right back on it next week What he did was is he put together a video script and everything that he needed in order to go in and build this YouTube video. And this entire package, and I'm going to give you the website at the end of this, but uh, is going to be on a blog page and you'll be able to get all the information and download the information. Uh, the basic info package was a, is a 38 to 60 second YouTube commercial. And some of the questions that you're going to ask and the information you're going to need is like, what's your name, title, the name of your business, and where you're located? Uh, what are your hours and days of operation? What products and services do you provide? And if people wanted more information or would like to contact you about your products or services, how may they get in contact with you? And so you can see here that uh, all the information is right here, and it's got it scripted out. It tells you about how long it needs to be. Okay, so you need to really, really look at this information because I'm telling you, Woodrow has made some very good 
very good, very good money with this package. YouTube, why YouTube commercials? And this is a great in the door. I know several of you do YouTube commercials already and you do some things. Uh, it's an easy foot in the door. Easy foot in the door service. Very profitable. Low cost to produce. More traffic for your client. A uh, higher CTR than static, regular, organic search links. More content for your client's website with lower bounce rates. And we all know, and I, and I talked about this last week or the week before. Uh, I can't remember exactly what I talked about it. But uh, uh, video has rapidly become, has rapidly become, 2015's newest hottest item on the market. Everybody's going to video. Uh, I don't know if you know, but Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook just announced that he's really pumping the money into video. Uh, video marketing for the large corporations. Uh, Facebook also owns Instagram. I watched a, a, a deal on Instagram the other night. Instagram is fixing to get a huge overhaul and it's going to be a lot of video. So, so you really, 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 really need to start looking at ways to incorporate video into your mobile apps. I know one thing we've started doing with the business cards is incorporating those right at the top, right below the, um, right below the logos. It's easy to offer a one-page Google guarantee for niche, low-compete, local search terms. Example, commerce consignment store. Okay, and I showed you guys that. Uh, on one of our trainings. Easy to offer additional services like apps once you have established a relationship and trust with the client with your follow through results. YouTube, little or no cost, no expensive equipment to buy. No expensive equipment to buy, little or no cost. Here's some of the tools and services that you can use, okay? Uh, this is the stuff that Walmart, uh, I'm sorry, Walmart, I'm sitting here reading Walmart, that uh, Woodrow used, okay, and the things that he bought, and his total one-time investment was $27.95. $27.95. A Walmart tripod for stills and video pans. An iPhone 6. Now, we all know that I, the iPhone is more than $27.95 but he used the iPhone that he has. A selfie stick, okay, you get it $9.95 at a Walgreens drugstore. Um, Windows Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker is what? It's free, and it comes with Microsoft, okay? And if you don't have it on your computer, you can go in and download it. And the Fiverr voiceover, 60 second audio voiceover done in less than 24 hours with music was 10 bucks. Got a couple people say the slides aren't moving. Is the slides moving? People are saying they lost audio. Can everybody hear me? Okay, everybody says they can hear me with the exception of a couple. We're going to keep rolling. Low cost production, high profits. One second commercial, $300 to $500. With our voiceover at $100 to $200. Monthly SEO charge for one Page ranking, $75. What is page one on Google worth? <laughs> I mean, go out and get someone to SEO for you real quick and find out what a, a page one on Google is worth. And you're going to see that he was able to get this not only on page one, but he was able to get this on page one at the top for local SEO. Uh, with the mobile app, add $25 to $49 per month without text messaging. Okay. Total production income, $300. To seven hundred dollars. All right, three hundred to seven hundred dollars. Total annual income potential with mobile app and SEO service twelve hundred to fifteen hundred bucks. You're going to make a total of about two thousand one hundred ninety dollars on one client. Okay, two thousand one hundred ninety, and it cost you ten bucks. It cost you ten bucks, and that was for 
the Fiverr Fiver commercial. All right, the Fiverr commercial. He did a storyboard. He did a storyboard right off of, okay, right off of Movie Maker. One minute YouTube commercial storyboard. And he, and he put up there exactly, and this is, uh, like I say, this is going to be in that special blog. All right. One minute YouTube commercial storyboard. Outside pan, six seconds. Inside pan, three seconds. It tells you exactly how he put this video together. So there is no question or no thinking or anything else if you just follow the steps. I was talking about to someone a while ago, and uh, we were talking about competing and, and, and some things like that. And uh, I, told, I told him, I said, you know what, I, ne I never worry about competition. And, and, and I tell you, I don't worry about competition. I teach people every single week on three different platforms exactly what I do. And in the last four months, I've built a, right at 700 apps, okay? And, it, and I have people call me and say, hey, Kerry, I, I'm not built an app since, I, since I've started here. What am I doing wrong? What you're doing wrong is you're not following the plan. And so what Woodrow has done here is he's, he's put the plan completely out there. Okay, he's put the plan completely out there. All right. So follow the plan. Very important you follow the plan. Because I'm going to tell you what happens. When you don't follow the plan and you don't follow what is successful, then what happens is, is it don't work right. Uh, Michael Cahill says he charges $100 a month for a page one ranking. $100 a month for a page one ranking. And I'm telling you, local page one rankings especially if the niche is, is, is not large, is, can be attained easily. I've, I've gotten local page one rankings within two or three minutes. Here's a sample script, okay? It's about 150 words per one minute video. To avoid reworks and revisions, always describe how to say hard or not easily understood pronunciations. Always use the business keywords for SEO and the location in the script. Google transcribes video. Just like you can get it on television, okay, when you can read the captions, Google does the same thing. Google has a caption software, and what it does is, is it breaks down what you said. And what I recommend you do is you go in, when you do your video, is you go in and make sure that the Google captions, just like me, I'm from Texas, and some words I, I don't pronunciate correctly. Okay, and Google looks at that and they don't speak Texan. So what you need to do is you need to go in and you need to edit the closed captions and make sure that everything is correct. And if you've never gone in and done that, you need to go into YouTube. I'm not going to train on that tonight, but you need to play with those closed captions and learn how to edit those. It's frame by frame and, it, and it's very cool and you need to go in and learn how to do that. So what he did was he, he made sure he had his business keywords in there for SEO and the location in the script. Always include a call to action. Okay, always include a call to action. Any questions so far real quick before we get any further? Anybody? All right, let's continue on. That was part one. That's the part that the uh, slides kind of messed up on. Now we're going to look at part two. Okay, we're going to look at part two for local video SEO. Ten tips for using YouTube to page one on local SEO. Now, I don't know if you look to see this right here, okay, but this was first page on Google local search. Okay, Google local search, auto tent Clearwater. And you can see the screenshot here. He was right underneath the paid ads. Number one, what is that worth? We already know Michael Cahill is already charging 
of five hundred dollars a month. You know, uh, Michael Cahill says search fuel pump replacement Atlanta. I know that had to rate very well, but uh, it will do that as soon as I'm done here. Okay. Auto window tinting in clear water. All right, and he got it on page one. And how do you think the customer felt when he walked in and SEO'd? And I can tell you, do do clear water uh, auto tent clear water. Now, if you're not there, it's probably you're not going to see the video because it's it's localized. It's SEO locally. Okay, I don't need a auto window tent in Clearwater, Florida, if I'm in Dallas, Texas. I need it in Dallas, Texas. So what he's done is he has SEO this for local search. Okay, so it comes up in local search. We're going to go over these tips, and he's, he's done a great job on this, and uh, you should be able to follow these steps and do the exact same thing. You want to make sure that you geotag your video. All right. First, you obviously should geotag your video in order to associate, associate it with the geo coordinates of your business location. To do this, go into the advanced settings for the video within the video manager. YouTube makes it simple by, by providing a search field. Enter the address location here and click the search button. The location is then displayed on a little pop-up map where you may further refine the location by dragging the pinpoint marker. Once saved, YouTube converts your location information into longitude and latitude coordinates for storage. Has anyone ever used that? Does anyone ever go into YouTube at all? What Google does is, Google's, Greg's asking what's the difference in uh, regular search and, and local search. What Google looks at, the first thing Google looks at is where you are at. Okay, it, it uses your geolocation based on where you are at at the time. And so when you search for something, the first things that are going to come up are things in the local area. For example, if, if I go to Florida and I'm on my phone and I search for a restaurant with a specific name, it's not going to show me restaurants in Dallas, Texas with the same name. It's going to show me information that is located based on the geolocation of where I am currently at. That is the difference. It looks at everything where you're at first. Now you do a regular Google search at your home and what it's going to do is, is if you're searching for restaurants, you're probably not going to get restaurants in, in Dallas, Texas. Okay, you're going to get the information that's in your area. Are results affected if you have a GPS on phone turned off? Uh, mine have never been because it goes off of the towers ba ba instead of GPS. Trust me, your phone knows where you are at, whether your GPS is on or not. Matter of fact, you can use Google Maps and it'll either triangulate you via towers or, it will, or you turn your GPS on then it tracks you via GPS. Link to your business in the, in the description. Make sure, now isn't it a shame, and I see this all the time. Matter of fact, I left a phone number out on one of mine, and, and Mike Cahill pointed it out to me, and I went right back in and I fixed it. Isn't it a shame to, to have a Google One ranking, okay, uh, to use it? Yeah, and it uses your IP address also. Isn't it a shame to uh, uh, go in and go to a spot, and you're number one, and you go in there and look in the description, uh, and it doesn't, and, and, and you don't have any information in there. Why would you not supply the link, especially if you just sold them, if you just sold them a um, video that's number one, and sold them a mobile app to go with it? I guess, what, guess what somebody just texted me. Can anybody guess what someone just texted me?
No, I'm here. I was <laughs> I was texting somebody that asked that we have training tonight. And it's the same person that asks every week. So include a link to your business website at the beginning of the video description. These links are automatically no followed by YouTube. But there seems to be a ranking value of some sort conveyed from the videos to the business's local search ranking ability. And th he tested this, okay? He tested it without the link in there and he tested it with the link. So perhaps Google transfers keyword associations with the link while no page rank is transmitted, or perhaps local citation value is being conveyed uh, since there is no way of non -fo no following citations. So, okay, it's uh, it's uh, important to be in there, but bar none, the biggest reason it should be in there is this, okay, is this simple thing. They've got to be able to click on the link if they're in your video and they're watching it on their phone. You just sold them that. Okay, you just sold them that information. Include your NAP, name, address, and phone. Include your business name, address, and phone number in the frames near the end of the video and perhaps your website URL as well. Text within videos can be read out of the data by Google's interpretation algorithms based on the application of optical character recognition, okay, OCR. OCR has been around since, oh my gosh, who knows how long? Who knows how long, okay, OCR has been around. So make sure, make sure that you put that information in there. And simply for one fact, it's going to help SEO your video based on the fact that Google is going to pull all that information out of the video and it reads it and it, and it puts it in script. All right, NAP, your name, address, and phone number. Include your NAP part two. Actually stating your business name, address, and phone in the video's audio will be worthwhile since this may be automatically converted into the text transcripts produced by Google system. And here you can see, can everybody see the text transcripts here? Can everybody see that? Can everybody see that? Okay, that's exactly what it looks like. Now you can go in and edit this. Okay, you can actually go in and edit this. So you can see here, introducing Arctic Media. We are an exclusive search engine market, and this is this is something he's pulled out of his training. But you can actually go in and edit this and make sure that it's correct. All right. And you can you know exactly what your transcript is. All right? You know what your transcript is. Thank you. Somebody said this is excellent trading. So you could go in and you can actually go in so and you see exactly what it is. You've got your you've got your transcript in front of you that you use. Go in and make sure all this is correct. And make sure that the spelling is correct. And make sure like I say, I speak Texan. I mean, hell, you guys ask me half the time what I'm saying. Okay? So if you're asking me what I'm saying, guess what Google's asking? Carrie, what are you saying? Go in and fix it. So make sure you go in, and this is extremely important when SEOing your videos and getting it correct so that, that that could be the one thing that keeps you from that number one ranking. That right there. That could be the difference in number one on page one and number one on page two. So make sure you go in and check your nap okay make sure you go in and check the uh, closed captioning on the videos <clears throat> utilize the description field mention your address city location and phone number in the description field the description field in YouTube is actually very generous and it is very generous most people go in there and just put a little bit of information okay Most people just put a little bit of information. I see questions flying by. If y'all hold those questions until I ask because I see them out of the corner of my eye and I'm not going to be able to answer them. Mention your address, city, location, and phone number in the description text. The description field in YouTube is actually very generous. So while your initial paragraph or sentences should clearly describe what the video is about, you could also include a section after that which provides a short biography about your company and differentiators that might persuade consumers to choose you above your competition. 
There, there is no character, as far as I know. Mike Cahill, have you ever reached a character limit on the description in YouTube? I haven't. I don't think there is a character description uh, length in, uh, in 5,000 words or 5,000 letters. Trust me, that is a lot. I've never hit 5,000. I've never hit 5,000, and I put a lot of information in my uh, descriptions, okay? A lot of information in my descriptions. Tag your videos. Include your business category name and your location names as tags on the video. The keyword tags have long been one of the secret weapons for YouTube optimization, so add in a handful of relevant tags for each video. Tags can be multi-word phrases as well as single one terms. You know, used to be it was only one term, and it hasn't been that long since they've been you've been able to put those long tail tags in YouTube. It used to be one word and that was it. But now you can put the entire long tail tags in there. It's kind of like does everybody understand what I'm saying when I say long tail? A lot of people will SEO their websites with long tail uh, URLs. Yes, 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 no, no. Yes, 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 no, no. For the no's, long tail means say exactly what you're saying. For example, auto window tinting in Clearwater, Florida. Carbon fiber wraps in Clearwater, Florida. Now, it used to be where you could only just put like carbon, fiber, window, film, auto, like that. You had to break it down, okay? I, I tell you, Kitty, I've never been penalized at all, and I do the ex I do mine the exact same way. The exact same way. All right. The exact same way. So I've never been penalized. Now you don't want to go in there and put five thousand keywords in there. Make it exactly what it is. Okay. You, you don't want to go in there and 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 spin up the keywords and all that stuff. Now what you want to do is you want to create more videos. If you want to if you want to differentiate your keywords and move them around a little bit, don't stuff it. And that's exactly what it's called, stuffing. Okay? Do not stuff it. <coughs> Put do exactly what it is and that's it. All right? For example, auto window tinting in clear water, window tinting in clear water, window tent shop, carbon fiber accents, all right? Uh Clearwater, Florida. Just make sure that the keywords match <clears throat> up with the description. Okay? Yeah, right for the reader, not for the robot. That's exactly right. Associate the video with Google Places listings. This is very important. You will need to add the video to your business listings in Google Places. But in adding the YouTube URL in Google Places, be sure to use the full page URL, not the shortened YouTube URL provided by for sharing. The shortened UL, URL, URL will not work in Google Places for some reason. And I don't know what the reason is, and he couldn't figure out what the reason is. Mike, do you know what the reason is? Other than the fact, and, and I will tell you, uh, in Facebook, when you go in and do certain things in Facebook, you have to use specific items, period. Okay? Period. So when adding the YouTube URL in Google Places, be sure to use the full page URL from the top of the video, okay? And not the uh, not the shortened URL. It will not work in Google Places. Associate the video with your Google and local page. Add the video to your Google and local local pages. Once you've added the video there, you and your employees can share the video on your personal Google Plus streams. The number of shares are an indicator of popularity. All right. Yeah, the, 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 the example did have the shortened URL in it. Do not use the shortened URL. When he made that slide, he was probably he probably put it in there and saw it didn't work, and that's why he made this slide. But the, yeah, that did have the shortened URL. But use the URL that's actually up in your browser. Okay. Use the video that's in your brow, I mean the URL that's in your browser. You want to place this video in as many places as you possibly can. Okay? Add the video to your Google Google local pages. If trust me, if Google's put something together for you to put information in, you need to put it everywhere you possibly can. Okay? 
put it everywhere you possibly can. And that's what you got to do. All right? That's what you've got to do. Embed your video. Embed the video in your website page and or on your blog. The number of embeds is another factor that indicates the popularity of videos. A frequently recurring question in video optimization is whether you should host videos natively on your website or store them on YouTube. Let me talk on that just a little bit because I do both. When I put training in my mobile marketing magician site, they're hosted on where? My own server. Why would I want to put specialized videos on my own server and not on YouTube? Can anybody answer that question? And then and it will help you to understand why you do certain things at certain times with video. Does anybody know why I would not put my training videos in Mobile Marketing Magician? Yeah, privacy to membership. Hell, why would somebody pay to see that if I've got it on YouTube and everybody can see it? Now, there are some training snippets that I put on YouTube because I want people to see that to get the whole thing. Okay? So, if it's, if it's something for public knowledge and you want everybody to see it and you want everybody to go there, you want to make sure that it's a YouTube video. And not just YouTube. Put it on Vimeo and, and, and all the other open source video platforms. Don't just put it in one place. Let it cross-pollinate. Okay? Let everything cross-pollinate. Let everything link back to each other. And put it in multiple places. I mean, you may want to do one video 25 times if it's a marketing video. And you want it on all the social sites. All the social sites. Uh, the embed code can allow your video to be, to be displayed elsewhere. And you guys know that because, matter of fact, how many of you saw the video that I put in the Facebook group that said tattoo it on your arm, put it on your forehead, on the back of your wife's back or anything else? Did anybody see that video about placing a YouTube video in your mobile apps? I know, I know you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sally got man. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. I hear you, man. <laughs> uh, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But do not lose that video, please. Please don't lose that video. Loved it, but wife hates her new stuff. <laughs> Chris said he, he loved it, but his wife hated the new tattoo. I, I hear you, man. I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> uh, shoot. But, you know, I, I, I mean, don't take this wrong. I've only done that video 57,000 times in the last three years. So I put it up there, and it's <laughs> it's stretched <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys are crazy. I'm not kidding you. We can put a comedy show together, I think. But make sure that you embed this on everything. How many of you have a blog? How many of you have uh, Facebook pages? How many of you have, uh, uh, gosh, man, how many of you have just web pages? How many of you are, are using, utilizing all of your tools? <laughs> so you know what? It's and you guys would be amazed at the number of people that are saying they don't have any type of blogs or web pages. I mean, you, even for your mobile app business, you need to be blogging. You need to be cross pollinating your business. You know. LinkedIn, I, I don't do LinkedIn. I, I, I have a LinkedIn page, and Greg, I know you've probably seen, sent me a LinkedIn thing 57 times, but uh, <laughs> I don't use LinkedIn. I know it's very popular for business, and uh, but it's just a pain in my butt. I did do it one day, but uh, you know what? I do use Twitter. I use Facebook a lot. I probably got 60 Facebook pages, uh, but uh, 
Yeah, I'm not much on LinkedIn either. But you know what? I, can you let me ask you a question, Greg? Can you put video on LinkedIn? At all? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, David, you know what my Twitter is. Okay, so any place you can put video, and maybe I need to start posting on LinkedIn, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, LinkedIn is a business, that is a business social media site. Will says he puts videos on LinkedIn once a week. So maybe I need to start using that more, but I don't. You know, I don't. So make sure that you use all your social media. If you do not have a website, and I don't care if you've got a website and you put 57 different URLs with Like I got, uh, like, uh, mobilemarketingmagician.com, I got mobilemarketingmagician.info. And then I, then I play off of mobilemarketingmagician.info forward slash this, forward slash that. And, and you can literally put up hundreds of pages quick. Get you a software that does nothing but post video, okay? And 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 uh, uh, get your video out there. Where's Mike Cahill? Mike Cahill, how many how many pages do you have, buddy? How many places do you put your videos, Mike? Guys, I'm gonna apologize. We will not get to 2.0 training tonight. I can promise you. Uh, I don't want to start it and have to stop. Mike Mike says he's got too many to count. You know, I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of web pages. I've got 27 URLs. Okay, 27 URLs. So, uh, getting ready to get another one. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready to get another one. Everybody say, keep talking about this. This is what I want tonight. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay. So, you got to put those videos on a page. There must be a new video program come out every day to post. Yeah, I got dom what did I say? URLs? Uh, yeah, I got uh, yeah, I got yeah, uh, domains, domain names. I've got thousands of URLs. Thousands of URLs. You know? I, I mean literally thousands of URLs. And uh but but I do have a shit. <laughs> Trust me, I pay for it every year. I don't have any domains I got. But I'm able to embed those videos. I don't care if you go out and buy a, 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 a $15 splash page builder for WordPress. Make sure you SEO it, okay? Make sure you SEO it, and, and you can get SEO free. You can get that stuff free. You don't even need a, a uh, um, program to build a splash page in WordPress. All you got to do is put a header in it, the video, and if you wanted to click on something and capture something, you can do that. I mean, it's, it's not difficult, okay? And maybe one night since we're doing video, I'll build a quick splash page in WordPress without any programs, okay? I will build a splash page. i tell you what. Everybody said, yes, please do, please do, please do, please, please do. I will do it next week. Hell, I put, I sold a, I put a link in, a, I didn't sell it, JB Zoo sold it. I put a link in a, a, a Facebook group not long ago that built a splash page, I'm telling you, in 15 seconds. You know, in, in 15 seconds. So, <clears throat> and all those splash pages have the ability to SEO in them. I'll, I'll post a link uh, tonight. On a, on a builder that I use. It's called InstaBuilder, and some of you may already have it. I'm telling you, that's what I'm building everything with tonight. It's called InstaBuilder, and it's awesome. The, the, the templates are already created, and you can put your YouTube videos right in there, SEO them, and literally have them up in five minutes. Can you make the call to actions come up without, are you talking about time delayed uh, call to actions? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, uh, yeah, there is code that you can do. It's very short. It's a very simple code. But you've got to be able to put these videos out there. And if you don't put these videos out there, you're not going to help yourself at all. 
Not at all. Yeah, you can do it with annotations. Not at all. And we'll, we'll get into the WordPress. We'll, we'll build a WordPress site, okay, uh, next week. And, and we'll just piggyback right here on this video, all right? Embed the video. Now, I'm going to show you something real quick. Oops, sorry. If I can. And I'm doing this for everybody's sake. Here is your embed code. Go to share. And it says embed. Does everybody got that? Does everybody got that? Embed, share, and then embed. And this is the code right here. And you can just, you literally take that code right there and can put it anywhere you want. And that YouTube video is going to pop up on it. People want to watch video. They want to watch video. Why do you, that's why YouTube is like the number two search engine in the world. Okay? Google being first, of course. People want to watch video. Mark Zuckerberg would not be... Does anybody have any qu questions on what, how I just got that? I, I'm fixing to pull back off of this. Okay? Does anybody have any questions how I got this uh, embed code? Okay. Zuckerberg would not be putting all that money into Facebook for video if video wasn't fixing to be hot. Trust me. You know, there's an old saying, all right? If you want to be successful, do as the successful do. If you want to fail, follow the failures. If you want to be successful, yep, smart TVs have YouTube apps built in. Mine does. Mine's got Netflix built in and everything else, you know? Go with video. Yeah, we've got the best of both worlds. We've got the best of both worlds. We've got the mobile app, which is the hottest thing going this year, and now we're teaching you how to put the video in that app and how to go out and sell the video. So now you've got the absolute, 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 without question, the hottest tool on the market. Without question. Okay? Without question. Embed your videos. Promote your videos. Promote your videos. Further promote the video via your social media accounts, particularly on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Google Plus. If you provide the video through all the various channels where you're promoting your business, potential customers can run across it and view it. All the various views add up to help your video rankings. All the popularity measures may not only help the video itself to rank, but the citational value conveyed to your business may help with rankings and local search results as well. Okay. Bonus tip, if you've got more than one video, it's worthwhile to optimize your YouTube channel with a description link. Link to your website and links to a few of your main social media profiles. Google likes videos because people like videos. This has given videos fairly good influence in search. Using these tips to optimize your video content may provide you with a very strong tool for augmenting your local search rankings. The bottom line is this, getting local SEO, okay, getting local SEO isn't that difficult. Yep, Google likes videos because Google owns YouTube. That's exactly right. It's not that hard to do. And I'm telling you, if you follow these simple steps right here, 
and and uh, Woodrow got three hundred dollars for that page one ranking. He walked in and showed. He told the guy if, when he gets him on page one, he owes him three hundred bucks. He walked in today, showed the guy he was on page one, and the guy gave him three hundred bucks. Now I don't know how how much easier it is to go out and rake in money than that. Other than the fact that you don't do anything and, and you, you don't make money, okay? So I'm just going to recap re real quick these 10 things. Geo tar tag your video. That's in YouTube. Geo tag your video. Link to your business in the description. Link to your business in the description. Especially if you're selling what? If you sold them a what, would you not want that link in there? <laughs> yes, the mobile app. The mobile app. Include your nap. Include your nap part two. And make sure that you go in. This is very important right here. I'm going to hit on this one more time. Make sure you go in and you edit your closed captioning. Utilize the description field. Tag your videos correctly. Associate the video with your Google Places listing. Associate the video with your Google Plus local page. Embed your video. Okay, I hope that you are able to use that information. Uh, it's a lot of great information. Woodrow put that together. He uses that every single day. He's He does a lot of videos down in Florida and uh, does a lot of work down there, as you can see. And uh, that's the formula he uses. And uh, that's the exact formula he uses to make money with videos. And uh, if you noticed on the right-hand corner of your screen or if you're on a mobile phone, download the exact uh, stuff that he's using uh, the uh, you can download the uh, all the templates and everything that he had and uh, you'll be able to duplicate exactly what he did now I highly recommend that uh, you know it's kind of like anything else some people say well can I use his videos yes you can make sure that if you're going to use someone's uh, stuff that you can and you go out and sell that, that you can do the same thing because you don't want to sell one thing and come up with a, a, a quality that's worse. Uh, you want to make sure that the quality is the same, obviously. Uh, but if you can duplicate the quality and, and, and everything's the same, of course, you can use uh, uh, those video demos. And uh, they're very easy to shoot. Uh, video is not a difficult a thing especially with today's technology um, you know the, the, I mean the iPhone 7 is coming out on the 16th if you're time to upgrade go get you an iPhone 7 and I can guarantee you you will shoot very high quality video uh, YouTube has a program a creator program out right now that uh, actually walks you through and steps you through it's out for iPhone it's not out for Android yet uh, Mike Cahill posted this a while back and uh, so you would be able to uh, get the Creator Studio download on your phone right into YouTube. It does it for you, basically. tells you the questions to ask and exactly what to say. So video is not hard. And video uh, can make you a lot of money. So uh, I highly recommend that you get into that. <clears throat> we do apologize for being sick tonight. Um, Woodrow's sick and I am sick. And... Uh, uh, there's a lot of illness going around right now, viruses and so forth. But uh, we will be back on track next week with our business builder series. Make sure that you go to that uh, box there, uh, the offers box there. Get your show notes for tonight's training, uh, the YouTube, YouTube SEO show notes. Just click on that link. It will take you to the page, and you'll be able to get all the information that you're needing. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and watching training, and we will get back on track uh, next week. Is there any questions real quick before we...
night. And uh, <laughs> in my case, I'm fixing to go back to bed and um, yeah, hopefully uh, feel a lot better tomorrow. So, but any questions at all? Is there anybody got any questions that uh, we can answer? Um, and, and get you rolling with your video. I highly recommend that you use video. Uh, it's great money. Video is a, uh, you can make 500,000 bucks um, on video shoots, 300 bucks on a video. Uh, you heard me talking about the whiteboard videos. I used to use uh, uh, a whiteboard video program that I paid for monthly. And thank you, Andy. Thanks, buddy. And uh, um, I did quite a few whiteboard videos for contractors and so forth. So it's called Scribe. And uh, it's a great program, easy to use. But I recommend video. So, but uh, if there is no questions, we're going to wrap it up and, <coughs> and uh, call it an evening. And uh, once again, thanks everybody for coming out and being a part of tonight's training. Uh, we should be back 110% next week, ready to rock and roll. And uh, we will make it happen. So uh, good night. Take care. And uh, do not shake hands with people that got a virus. <laughs> That's what I can say. And uh, I wish uh, oh, he started getting sick this afternoon. So. Uh, there's definitely stuff going around, but good night. God bless. And I will see you next Wednesday night on training.